Why? Why did she reject me? She was supposed to say yes. She was supposed to feel honored to be my date. <sighs> Why does this always happen to me? I sat at the desk in my room, hunched over my work, thinking about today's events. Did, did she think it was a joke? Was she scared to say yes? Am I too perfect? No, girls should be dreaming about me 24-7. I looked over to my left to see my reflection in one of my mirrors in my room. Ooh, I was beautiful. Chiseled jaw, brown hair, blue eyes, and even dimples. I was the sign of true perfection. Hmm, was I too forward? I kept asking myself why she would reject me. Anger was slowly building in my mind. Why couldn't I think of a reason that she wouldn't love me? I had a job. Money. <laughs> so, money wasn't a reason. Maybe my personality. No. I have a perfect personality. I'm loyal, funny, intelligent, and charming. I got up to grab my backpack along with some double-sided tape. Hmm. Maybe it was the rumors at school. Everyone called me narcissistic. But I don't even know what that means. I know it's not me though, because of the way everyone uses it in their sentences. <laughs> I don't have anything negative about me. I'm perfect in every way. I grabbed a small paintbrush and started to paint a small tree on the side of my school. I had wonderful hobbies such as arts and crafts and reading. I had all A's on my report card. I was perfect. I looked in the mirror ahead of me and to the side of me, as I put a small pair of safety scissors at the back of my head. Snip. And several pieces of perfect brown hair fell down into my hand. I put them on the table next to the bench in the lunch area at my school. I looked through my backpack, but couldn't find my binder. So I went home and searched around the house. I looked at a couple of the mirrors on the wall, stopping at a couple to check my hair to make sure it wasn't ruined. I found my binder next to the couch, and I pulled it open to grab a white paper bag. I walked over to my desk, and I put my hair on a small piece of double-sided tape. I then put the tape on a small doll that I'd made out of popsicle sticks and glue. I then grabbed another four dolls from my drawer and put them to the side. One of them was a male doll, while the others were girls. I put my doll to the opposite side of the desk and grabbed the only male. I put some of my hair on him too, as we both had the same hair color, and I put a name on his foot. Sure. I dropped him on the desk with disgust, as I hated Sean. I then picked up another doll with a blue shirt and jeans. I carefully handled her as I opened the white bag and pulled out three small Ziploc bags with names written on them. I grabbed the one named Ashley and pulled out the blonde hair. I put the hair in the tape and then on the doll, and I gently placed her down. I grabbed the next doll, 
and I pulled out her hair, which was dirty blonde. I put it on the doll as I put her name on her foot. Emily. The final doll had the brightest hair, and she was blonde that was almost white. I put her hair on with care, and I put her name on her foot and petted her a few times. Her name was Jessica. I looked at my complete set of a model of my school made out of cardboard and styrofoam. It had taken me seven hours to make as I checked my alarm clock and it said it was almost 2 a.m. I pulled out a small list from my binder and put my doll at the front door. Jessica and I had first and sixth period together. Sean and I had third period together. Emily had third period with me, and Ashley had seventh period with me. Hmm. I saw no way to perfect my plan. Hmm. Maybe if I kidnapped her before school. Hmm. No. Her friends would know. I would have to take care of them. Ah, I saw no way to take them all out in secret. There had to be a way that Jessica would be mine. She would learn that having me be her boyfriend would make her life perfect. No matter how much torture it would take to get her to know that. I sat in my chair staring at the model of the building. Hmm, what if I created a distraction? What if the distraction managed to take care of her friends at the same time? Hmm, what would do that? What would it take? An explosion? <sighs> I can't do that. It's too complicated with all the metal detectors at the school, after Chris died in the school bathroom. I hated Chris. He was the perfect motivation for the first. I grabbed an incense and lit it with a lighter as a way to get me to think. Hmm. What about fire? I placed my character at the corner of the school with a popsicle stick painted red to resemble a gasoline can. <sighs> Ooh, what if I set fire to the school? <laughs> yes. Then I would save Jessica from the fire. She would love me. She would think of me as a hero. It would also be the perfect distraction for me to kidnap her. Yes, a fire would do. I stood up and got in my car, checking my reflection in the vanity mirror. Tomorrow my school will have quite a surprise ahead of them. They would learn that they got the name wrong. I'm not a narcissist, I'm a psychopath. Thanks for taking the time to drop by and watch this video. You know what would make me a happy doctor? hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Go on, I've got plenty more stories to tell you. <laughs>